So the, let's talk one more element that I think uh, I really want to cover, spend some time covering, is uh, breathing. Now, my major instructor, Choi Kam Man, said that um, the breath should be natural. Don't pay any attention to it. The breath should be natural. And I agree. That doesn't mean that you can't use Tai Chi as a Qigong exercise you know, to, while you're practicing it, pay attention to your breathing and do different things with it. You know, use it, use, use, use it to um, do different things. So let's, uh, let, me, let me have a little ball here a second. Oh, gosh, <laughs> the lights got right in my face. Okay, so here's, here's a little ball that I want to uh, use to help me uh, explain the Dantian. Okay, so here's the Dantian. Okay, my, my, uh, the first two through it thinks this is pretty funny, and I agree it is. Okay, so this is the Dantian. Traditional, traditional yogic breathing is when you inhale, you expand the belly. When you exhale, you contract the belly. Right? Inhale and exhale. So this would look like when you inhale, the belly would expand, which would mean the back would be a pressure on the back, which would force the belly out. Because the Dantian is closed, the Dantian cannot take in or give out any more than it is. It's a closed thing. And it gets more and more concentrated by pumping in here, by getting what's in here, which is liquid, worked up. There's liquid inside here, and it's going to get heated by the action of the belly. And so when we, when we move the back in, the front goes out. So when we inhale, there's a pressure in the back, the low back, which pushes the front out. When we release the back, the front relaxes. So we can push the back out, moving the energy to the front, and we can then, as we release the back, the front releases. And this is what we call regular belly breathing. But we can also do the opposite. This is what's called Taoist breathing. In Tai Chi, we tend to do this, is that we pull in the front, and the energy moves to the back. Remember I said how the back expands when you gather? See here, as I am drawing inward, I remember my, the pelvis is slightly tilting, the pressure's in the back, the front is collapsing in. When I release the front, the energy comes to the front and the back then comes in. So round and then it shoots the energy forward. So here we would be inhaling, gathering the energy to the back. And as we press out, the energy moves to the forward, to the front or out. So it's the same thing here. As we gather, the energy's in the back compressed, as we release, the energy is pushed out. And I'm also in encouraging it to push out the hand. So as we draw in, the energy moves inward to the back. And we exhale, it compresses, and the energy moves out. Now, it's also happening, it's also, what's, what's also happening is this. As I'm inhaling, the top and the bottom are compressing together. When I release, they're going in opposite directions. When you inhale, not only is the energy moving to the back, but it's also coming up and down compressing the energy 
in the diaphragmatic area, diaphragm area. When we release, Qi drops to the lower Dantian and the uh, Jing moves outward and upward. So, I would say for you to practice, and this would be very, very helpful, is to think about this. When you, when you breathe, and just don't do this with your movements, but just do it in a standing. You can have a little ball to help you. When you inhale, think about drawing down and up. And you'll feel it kind of centered in the diaphragm area. And then when you release it, you'll feel it separate. This is what we call Tai Chi. Here, the yin and yang combine. The two energies combine to make Tai Chi. And here, they separate and expand outward, doing two different things. The yin drops down and the yang moves upward. So this is a good exercise to be doing. And you can also do the same exercise with the back, so that when you breathe in, you feel the back, the belly expand and the back pressure, and when you release, comes in. Or you can do the other. The belly comes in and release, move forward. Each one of these has different um, reasons why it would be efficient and why it would be appropriate at a particular time. And it's just a matter of um, combining it at some point with the movements. Now, I want to say one other thing about uh, this uh, Taiji uh, breathing, is that we have, there's two ways we can do this. We have internal energy, which is uh, Nai Dong, Nai Dong, and we have external energy, which is Wai Dong. In Tai Chi, we can either stimulate the outside. When you stimulate the outside and you relax, it, any extra charge will tend to move towards the inside. You see? So we do exercises, we do lots of exercises, and then, when we relax, the energy just moves into the inside, which is very, very healthy and very relaxing. Also, in Tai Chi, what we tend to do is we charge up the inside. We, through these breathing exercises and all that, we get the inside charge, and when we relax, it moves to the outside. And, and it's very healthy, too. So we have, there's, there's different ways that we can be working. And in Tai Chi Chuan, we actually do both of these. We do the external moving in and the internal moving out. So well, I hope you've uh, sort of enjoyed um, this review of principles. And I know it's a lot to be thinking about, but um, good luck. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>